welcome back to another Shaving with Surge, and thank you for joining me on this video. Okay, so for this shave, I'm going to be using Schreichel Shaves Tipper Canoe, and this is in his newest base. Um, it's supposed to be more cost effective. I believe this is now just a few dollars cheaper than his previous base and soaps. On the website, Razor Company, it was a collab between the Razor Company and Shrekel Chain. It says, this scent is inspired by Savag Elixir. It's exclusive to the Razor Company. William Henry Harrison, American military officer and politician, was the ninth president of the United States, 1841. The oldest president to be elected at the time, on his 32nd day, he became the first to die in office, serving, his, serving the shortest term. We are proud to introduce our new base in this great scent. Soap ingredients are steric acid, tallow, goat's milk, water, shea butter, cocum butter, potassium, hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, dragon fruit extract, chamomile extract, fragrance, castor oil, glycerin, tussa silk. Okay, and I happened to go to a shave meetup a couple weeks ago. Um, I. I forgot what it was called, but last year it was West Coast Shave Meetup. This year, I think it was Huntington Beach Shave Meetup, something like that. And uh, it was, I, they had a paid for a table. And when I saw this on there, you know, I had to grab it. Okay, I was, I was excited to try the new base and all. Scent strength on this, I give this a medium light. It's, it's there. It's not too weak, but it could be a little bit stronger. Okay, and then um, they didn't go into what the scent was, so I had to look up um, Savag Elixir. And the fragrance itself is about, you know, I'm gonna start lathering. The fragrance itself is, you know, around the $100, $150 range. Um, and they, since there was nothing listed on the site with the scent, I looked into it and it has. I'll read what the site says. It says, it's an aro aromatic fragrance for men. This new fragrance was launched in 2021. The news behind the fragrance was Francis Damaki. Top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, grapefruit. Middle notes are lavender base. Notes are licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. Okay. Um, seeing some of those set notes worried me a little bit. The cinnamon, the nutmeg. Um, there was another soap in the past that had those ingredients and I did have a reaction to it. Um, it's my first time using this, so we'll find out. But I would describe the scent as a, a light spice, light spice, like woody scent. It's, it's, um, it's nice. It's nice. I like it. It didn't well me, but does not mean everything needs to well you, right? But definitely this one, I can see like a business set, wearing it to work, you know? A nice dinner, things like that. This would fit perfectly for those. All right, I'm going into the pass, first pass, treat razor. Here we go. I am trying a new angle on my camera. Normally I do it with the front facing camera. This time it's normal as if I were holding it, so I cannot see what's going on. Hopefully everything's in frame. We'll find out. Trial and error. Just wanted to see if my video quality would change on how it comes out. Uh, back to that shave meetup. So it was a couple weeks ago. I was at Huntington Beach. Um, I got to, well, not meet. I got to see Doug and, oh man, 
Dave, I believe, from Razor Emporium. I brain farted. I'm sorry. But Dave from, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Doug from PAA. They were there last year. Uh, Ken Surfs was there. I got to see Sefferton again. I met him last year at it. One million views, subscribers. One million subscribers on YouTube, Sefferton Shaves. Um, who else? I got to meet um, Gerard from Lather Talks. He was there. And of course there was other people, but those were the ones that uh, I remember their names. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. And, and that's just me all the time. It was pretty cool. It was like a four hour long meetup. I got there, I'd say, um, Uh, probably about two and a half hours in. Um, pretty cool, like I said, Doug and oh, the dude from Razor Emporium. They did the they did a live uh, I'd lather be shaving. They held a YouTube together, so they did that live for us. That was pretty cool. And you know, there was just a bunch of products. You got to you know just talk and chat with people, and so it was cool. I think last year had a bigger turnout, but like I said, I got there like more than halfway done. I don't know, people came and left. Ken Surf was there. I don't remember if I mentioned him earlier, but he was there. He was there last year as well. He's a Huntington Beach native. Huntington Beach for me is um, like a 20 minute drive, so it wasn't bad. The scent opens up more when it's lathered. Like I said, this was a this was a used tub. It was on the pay it forward table. So the scent was a little bit lighter as I scraped away at it. Now I'm, I'm realizing it did open up and it definitely did open up more when lathering. As for How this base is performing against the original Patriots base or the previous Patriots base, it's it's great. It's good. I can't tell the difference. I'm not going to sit here and lie or anything and say, oh my God, it's a world of a difference or anything like that. Most soaps, in my opinion nowadays, are so good. I almost rarely ever have a base and say it's bad or even average. The fact that it's a newer base and it's actually cheaper, especially how inflation, how expensive things are now, that's um, that's a win-win for us, right? As a consumer. I did pick up another soap that on the pay for table that I'm excited to use. It's a it's the makers from South Africa. Other than that, I've never heard of them or anything like that. But I really like the scent from the puck, so I'm looking forward to using that one next.
All right, third and final pass. The scent really did open up, guys. It, it's, uh, it's a lot more stronger than when it was when I originally was smelling it from the tub. Oops, looping. Third and final pass. Here we go. Now my favorite, my favorite pass of the shave. Let me just return to this a little bit. All right, I'm going to rinse off and I'll be All right, and I'm back rinsed off, did a little bit of touch-ups, and let me just squeeze what's left in the knot so you guys can see what this goodness looks like. Beautiful, beautiful. One of my favorite parts of shaving is squeezing that out and playing with it. So this stuff was super slick, guys, super slick post-shave fill afterwards. There's a lot of residual slickness. My face, my skin feels moisturized, hydrated. There's no drying to it. So definitely I am enjoying this. Feels good. I am going to come in with some witch hazel. Just some fair witch hazel. And for the splash, what I want to use, I guess I will just go with, I'm gonna go bomb. Two squirts of Vingari Men Unscented. This is gonna be my first shave product that I kill. It's coming up, it's right there. <laughs> I use it every shave, so. First time I'm gonna kill something. It's gonna be super cool. And I'm just gonna go with Woody's. Usually when I don't have the matching splash, my Woody's is what I go to. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for joining me on another shave. You guys take care. If you don't have this one, pick it up. 
you won't be disappointed. All right, I'm out of here.